the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Liturgy of the Hours Prayer The Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, also known as the Taking Up of Body and Soul of Mary, the Mother of Jesus into Heaven, at the Council of Chalcedon, year 451, St. Jovenel, Bishop of Jerusalem, had made known to the Emperor Martian and Pulcheria, who wished to possess the body of the Mother of God, that Mary died in the presence of all the Apostles, but that her tongue when opened upon the request of St. Thomas, was found empty, wherefrom the apostles concluded that the body was taken up to heaven. The Assumption of Mary is one of the four Marian dogmas of the Catholic Church, as Pope Pius XII defined it in 1950 in his Apostolic Constitution, Monificentesimos Deus, as follows. We proclaim and define it to be a dogma revealed by God that the Immaculate Mother of God, Mary ever Virgin, when the course of her earthly life was finished, was taken up body and soul into the glory of heaven. As mentioned by Saint Peter Damian that each year on the day of the Assumption, the Blessed Virgin Mary Queen of Heaven exercise her mercy and delivers several thousands of souls from purgatory. Then, according to the pious belief of the faithful, she delivers those souls who, having worn the holy scapular, enjoy this all Saturday's privilege, and afterwards gives relief and consolation to other souls who had been particularly devout to her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The hymn Hail, Holy Queen of Heavens! Hail, Holy Queen of the Angels! Hail, Root of Jesse! Hail, Gate of Heaven! By you the light has entered the world. Rejoice, Glorious Virgin! Beautiful among all women, hail, radiant splendor, intercede with Christ for us. Psalmody, Antiphon 1 Christ ascended into heaven and prepared an everlasting place for His Immaculate Mother. Alleluia! Psalm 113 Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens His glory, who is like the Lord our God who has risen on high to, to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly. From his misery he raises the poor to set him in the company of princes. Yes, with the princes of his people, to the childless wife he gives a home and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ ascended into heaven and prepared an everlasting place for His Immaculate Mother. Alleluia! Antiphon 2 Through Eve, the gates of heaven were closed to all mankind. Through the Virgin Mother, they were opened wide again. Alleluia! Psalm 147 verses 12 to 20 O praise the Lord Jerusalem Zion praise your God He has strengthened the bars of your gates He has blessed the children within you He established peace on your borders He feeds you with finest wheat He sends out his word to the, the earth and swiftly runs his command he showers down snow white as wool. He scatters her frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like bombs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word, and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through Eve, the gates of heaven were closed to all mankind through the virgin mother they were opened wide again alleluia antiphon 3 the virgin mary has been exalted above all the heavens come let all men glorify christ the king whose kingdom will endure forever alleluia canticle from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 3 to 10. Praised be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began to be holy and blameless in His sight. He predestined us to be His adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was His will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor He has bestowed on us in His Beloved. In Him and through His blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan He was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in Him, in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Virgin Mary has been exalted above all the heavens. Come, let all men glorify Christ, the King, whose kingdom will endure forever. Alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Chapter 8, verse 30. Those God predestined, He likewise called. Those He called, He also justified. And those He justified, He in turn glorified. 
the responsory. As Mary is taken up to heaven, the angels of God rejoice. As Mary is taken up to heaven, the angels of God rejoice. They worship the Lord and sing His praises. The angels of God rejoice. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As Mary is taken up to heaven, the angels of God rejoice. Canticle of Mary, Antiphon All generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked in favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Canticle of Mary, Antiphon all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Alleluia. The Intercessions Let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now in need we ask, Mary, full of grace, Please intercede for us. O God, worker of miracles, you made the Immaculate Virgin Mary share body and soul in your Son's glory in heaven. Direct the hearts of your children to that same glory. Mary, full of grace, please intercede for us. You made Mary the mother of mercy. May all who are faced with trials feel her motherly love. Mary, full of grace, please intercede for us. You made Mary our mother. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all. Mary, full of grace, please intercede for us. You made Mary full of grace. Grant all men the joyful abundance of your grace. Mary, full of grace, please intercede for us. You wished Mary to be the mother of the family in the home of Jesus and Joseph. May all mothers of families foster love and holiness through her intercession. Mary, full of grace, please intercede for us. Make your church of one mind and one heart in love, and help all those who believed to be one in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary, full of grace, Please intercede for us. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven, 
May all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. Mary, full of grace, please intercede for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you gave a humble virgin the privilege of being the mother of your Son, and crowned her with the glory of heaven. May the prayers of the Virgin Mary bring us to the salvation of Christ and raise us up to eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.